Hi, I am Valder Beebe. I am the host and the visionary of That Celebrity Interview. Good day, Eric Baza. Thank you for joining me here live in Dallas, Texas, on the Valder BB Show, broadcasting on KRER. How are you? I'm doing really well. Thanks for having me. I want my audience to know that you're nominated. You've been nominated for two Annie, Annie Awards in your career, mm -hmm. but you also, I think, one of your biggest accolades, you voice Splinter, a mutant rat, <laughs> father figure, and sensei in Nickelodeon's reimagined series, Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. How cool is that? You are correct. It is very cool. I love that. <laughs> I thank you so much for that voice. Okay. Now, this is just a little uh, it's just nostalgia or refresher, but give us the names of your compadre turtles. Uh, we have Leonardo, Raphael, Donatello, and Michelangelo. Those Thanks. are my four sons. I call them red one, orange one, blue one, and purple one. I okay. don't do well with names. Okay, well, you do well with voices. You really do. You re like I said, you receive accolades for your voices. We'll talk a little bit about the, the places your voices have been. Let me ask you, this Nickelodeon action uh, comedy series, Rise of the Mutant uh, Ninja Turtles, is this in 2D animation? Yes, they've brought it back to 2D. Uh, the last... Uh uh, iteration of the show was in CG, uh, 3D animation, and now they've kind of brought it back to where it be began, uh, 2D hand-drawn uh, sketches. Oh, okay, we're in for a treat. Okay, so the tor turtle voices are voiced by others, but you, that's a stellar cast for you. Uh, who are those people behind the voices? And I know we know them from different things like Parks and Recreation, Silicon Valley, mm -hmm. You're the Worst. We know them. <laughs> Brandon Michael Smith as Mikey, Omar Miller as Raph, Ben Schwartz as Leo, and Josh Brenner as Donnie. Uh, they've all portrayed many characters on the big screen and small screen. I'm big fans of them, uh, as well as Kat Graham as April O'Neil. Uh, can't miss her. And John Cena as, uh, as Baron Draxum. He's the, uh, the new bad guy. All fans. I'm, I'm, I'm huge fans of all of their work. And uh, getting to see them perform in the booth is something else because they're so used to being able to use their physicality and faces and, uh, you know, for expressions and, and conveying feelings. Uh, but when you're in the sound booth, all of that is taken away from you. And they do such a good job um, bringing these characters to life. Uh, if you've caught, like, sneak peeks of the first few episodes that are online, or on streaming right now for your cable providers, uh, just watch them in action, and the chemistry is there. It is. It really is. We believe that. Cause, and this has been going on. They've got a long history of being successful, but you've got a stellar, stellar lineup of guest star voices. Does everybody want to be a part of this? I believe so. I mean, <laughs> if, if not the four main brothers or, or Splinter, Anytime there's like uh, opportunities for uh, guest uh, stars to come in as bad guys, that's just the same uh, honor that you'd get by playing these uh, legendary characters. That's right. You've got someone from Games of Thrones, Pitch Perfect, Square, uh, Bo Square Bob, Square Pants. You, I mean, that's pretty cool. The list goes on. It's, it's, it's all of IMDb and me. That's it. <laughs> okay. As I wrap up, what's the best thing about playing your character in the movie? Uh, just being able to give back to a show that raised me as a kid through the television, you know, um, getting to know that I get to be one of the most recognized characters in animation history is, I'm like a kid in a candy store. It is. Let me ask you, so does this heighten your career goals when you, when you play? This is an iconic character. A kid, I don't know if adults are saying this, but I know kids say this. I think uh, being able to walk down the, uh, the toy aisles at the department stores and seeing the Master Splinter figure 
on the shelf, is, that's like surreal to me. That for me is like. I can only imagine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you stand there and say, yeah, that's me. That's me. <laughs> I love that. That's me. Well, you sound like you're having a great time doing this. We're having a great time being your audience. When do you want us to watch? This Monday, September 17th at 6.30 p.m. only on Nickelodeon. And uh, every day for the rest of the week, uh, they will continue to roll out new episodes. So stay tuned and check your local listings. Eric Bazu, if you'll leave us with that famous voice, that'll make my day. Cowabunga! Thank you so much, Eric. I really appreciate it. Thank you.